guys welcome back to the channel so this is going to be the first official review of a movie since the launch of the channel and i couldn't have asked for a better one a childhood classic a great story that tells the relationship between a father and a son giving you the meaning of circle of life and if you still haven't figured out what or which movie i'm talking about all i have to say is long live the king Everything the light touches is our kingdom. But a king's time as ruler rises and falls like the sun. One day the sun will set on my time here and will rise with you as the new king. Before we start talking about the movie, let me just clarify something. I wasn't the biggest fan or the supporter of Disney investing so much money into remaking all the animation classics into real life or real action movies. The first thought that came into my mind, my mind was Disney was running out of ideas, and instead of trying something genuine or uh, unique, they were just trying to put old wine into a new bottle. The fact that the new Aladdin movie wasn't the best that Disney has created or released in the entire span of the company definitely lowered my expectations from The Lion King. To be fair, I went into the theater expecting nothing more than an average flick and uh, I was so happy to have my expectations completely thrown out of the window. Disney by giving the directorial cap to John Favreau as you all know who did Iron Man and shattered the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe that was a great great step in creating that magic that you wanted from a classic like the Lion King from the word go you are taken into a world of completely mesmerizing visuals the CGI and the entire visual effects that has been brought to life in the movie was nothing short of spectacular. You are glued onto your seat from the very first second of the movie and you literally can't take your eyes off the screen. This visual extravaganza gives you an idea about where the major part of the budget of the movie has gone into. The experience that you get in the theater is so realistic that you feel you're right in the midst of the savanna in Africa, which happens to be the backdrop of the movie, and you are part of the animal kingdom or the subjects of King Mufasa. As you can remember from the animated movie, the ceremony where Rafiki the baboon raises Simba and showcases him to the entire animal kingdom, you feel like you're standing right next to the zebras, the elephants the giraffes and all the other animals of the pride lands it's that close to reality and you feel completely enthralled in that amazing amazing experience the visualization was definitely the number one positive factor of the movie and hats off to the entire crew who did their best in creating that atmosphere that experience that pure magic the next best thing about the movie was definitely the all-star cast who lent their voices to all the different characters. Be it James or Johns who gave it for Mufasa, 
Beyonce who gave it for Nala or even Donald Glover who gave it for Simba each and every single voice was to the point and you couldn't have found a better match for each character but for me on a personal basis definitely the best character voice of all was by Seth Rogen for Pumba the way he made every single person in the theater laugh with just his voice and and his mannerisms through his voice was nothing short of phenomenal and he's a true legend I, you cannot deny that he is a true legend in that category those vultures one day. I'm gonna get one. I don't know why it's so important to you. I just feel like it would make me feel better. <gasps> oh no, it's a little lion. That is not a lion. Well then go check it out. What is that it? That is not a lion. It's a furry bird. It looks like a lion. Yeah, that's not a lion. Let me get a closer look. Excuse me. Oh, all right, let me see what we're dealing with here. It's a lion! Run for your life, Pumbaa! Wait, 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 it's, it's, just, it's a little lion! It gets bigger! Can we keep him? Can we please keep him? Oh, oh, okay, uh, I promise, I'll walk him every day. If he makes a little mess, I'll clean it up! You'll I'll be, be his little mess. He's gonna eat you and then use my body as a toothpick. But one day, when he's big and strong, he'll be on our side. I've got it. What if he's on our side? Hear me out! Having a ferocious lion around might not be such a bad idea. Well then, can we keep him? Yes, of course we can keep him! Well, My fuck. god, who is the brains of this operation? We're gonna name him Fred! So apparently Disney has a well thought out plan on how they want their remakes to be enjoyable by all age groups. By bringing in all these elements like action, humor, and even musical, which was not expected personally by me in The Lion King, there's something for everyone in the audience to keep them engrossed and to make sure that they come back for more and more Disney movies. And the plan actually seems to be foolproof and it seems to be working quite well as well. Another major factor or another positive factor about the movie has been its music. Hans Zimmer has done a remarkable job in that area. He has created some really great songs for the entire soundtrack and I'm pretty confident you will be singing at least one of them in your head by the time you reach home from the theater and still be playing them in loop in your mind. Each piece of music or each song literally uplifts the entire mood of that particular section of the movie and you realize how important the music was to give you an all-out experience. Well, it won't come as a shock to anyone watching this vlog that nearly 95% of people who are eagerly waiting or who have already watched the new Lion King knew the story even before they stepped foot into the theater. And yet, like a global phenomenon, like the bottle cap challenge, a good majority of the audience cried a lot. Again, when Mufasa got killed in that stampede. Um, for me, that entire segment of the movie was like, I knew that it was coming. And when the stampede started, I was like, oh no, oh no, 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 oh shit, oh shit, no, no, oh. That's literally my reaction in the theater. And uh, when Simba sees the lifeless figure of his dad, and when he slowly starts walking towards him and starts nudging him to wake him up from the deep slumber, uh, I just lost control of myself. And before even I knew it, I was just completely bawling and crying my eyes out. Uh, although I knew the story, but the way See, this is definitely the brilliance of John Favreau and that entire crew. It, the look in the eyes of Simba when he realized that his dad is no more and uh, the way he kind of just curls up near to him just to get that warmth from his dad for like one last time. Uh, shit, uh, 
that was like a very touching moment and I don't know what to say that was one of the most emotional moments that I've had in a theater in a really long time so definitely the Lion King is a story about the strong relationship between a father and a son and how the bond grows deeper as they move far apart from each other at the end of the day you must always realize that your dad no matter what would always be proud of what you do and who you are and you can always bet on him to be that strong pillar of support in any scenario as evident from the title of the vlog this is also a dedication video to all the fathers out there who have been striving really hard to give a life of maximum comfort for their kids and i would like to take the opportunity to salute each and every one of you out there for all the sacrifices you have undergone throughout your life for your family i would also like to utilize this vlog to personally thank my dad for all that he has done for us over the years and i really won't be this person who i am right now without you so my verdict the new team led by john favreau has done a remarkable job in keeping the true spirit of the original lion king while bringing in his own elements that has provided a completely new viewing experience to the audience i'm pretty sure every single fan out there be it disney or not would thoroughly enjoy this movie and i would definitely recommend this to anyone watching this vlog so until the next time with a completely brand new vlog this is yours truly jay signing out